So if you're just recently getting into filmmaking, you may have heard the term aspect ratios thrown around quite a bit. Now you may have a bit of an understanding of what that is, but in this video we're going to do a little bit of a deeper dive and explain to you what aspect ratios are. In short, aspect ratios compare the width to the height of your video image in the form of a numerical fraction. They have nothing to do with the resolution of your image or your sensor size, which if you're wondering about sensor sizes, check the link above or in the description below where I explain Super 35 versus full frame sensors. Aspect ratio is generally described by listing the width first and then the height. For example, 16 by nine or four by three being the width and then the height of the image. Or if you're using more traditional cinema terms, you would list the width of the image in contrast to a value of one being the height. So for example, 16 by nine would be 1.78 to one, and four by three would be 1.33 to one, width versus height. Now there are a ton of different aspect ratios out there, especially nowadays with social media, but some common ones for cinema include 2.35 to 1, which is a common widescreen cinema aspect ratio that you'd see in a lot of movie theaters. If you want to go even more widescreen, which is more commonly seen when shooting with anamorphic lenses, you might get an aspect ratio of 2.39 to 1 or 2.4 to 1. Some people find widescreen to appear more cinematic as it's used in a lot of movies that appear in cinemas, but aspect ratio should really be thought of more as a creative choice. There are a ton of great movies out there that use aspect ratios creatively, like The Lighthouse and The Grand Budapest Hotel, which both use a 4x3 aspect ratio. And then there's aspect ratios that have nothing to do with cinema, like this 16x9 aspect ratio YouTube video that you're watching now. In recent years, social media aspect ratios have become more and more of a thing as more and more people consume content on their smartphones. Some common aspect ratios you'll see on videos for things like Instagram are one by one or four by five for a slightly more vertical video that fills a little bit more of the screen. These sizes are commonly found on things like your Instagram feed, Facebook feed, and any other social medias that you browse on your smartphone. And then on top of that, we have fully vertical aspect ratios. These usually appear in things like Instagram stories, Instagram reels, and TikToks. This kind of aspect ratio is built to fill your full phone screen with video, taking the standard 16 by nine video that you're seeing now and flipping it vertically to fill the nine by 16 aspect ratio of something like your phone. For the most part, this aspect ratio is used for quickly consumable content and social media ads and posts. So that's a basic overview of aspect ratios. If you have any questions or there was anything you didn't understand from this video, drop a comment down below and I'll try to respond to as many of those as I can. If you enjoyed this video or learned something from it, make sure you click the like button down below because it actually makes a difference and helps share this video with other people who might be wondering about aspect ratios. Also click the subscribe button if you haven't already and you wanna see more filmmaking videos just like this one and we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.